Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Open Up Resources Grade 7 Mathematics Unit 2 Lesson 4 Proportional Relationships and Equations Practice Problems. So let's jump in. Number one says a certain ceiling is made up of tiles. Every square meter of ceiling requires 10.75 tiles. Fill in the table with the missing values. So the number of tiles for this first problem, we know that the unit rate is when 1 is here in the x column, and the y is going to let us know what that is. This is going to be y over x for our constant of proportionality, right here. So this is going to be 10.75. For every square meter, we're going to have 10.75 tables, or excuse me, ceiling tiles. Okay, so then now, how do we fill out the rest of the table? Well, this is 10 here, so it's times 10. So then it's going to be 10.75 times 10, which is going to be 107.5. So again, we see our constant of proportionality is 10.75 divided by 1. This is going to be 107.5 divided by 10. Now both of those are going to equal 10.75. Okay. Right, you see a little better. Okay, now the next one is 100. Well, how do we figure out what that's going to equal? Well, we can say something, this number here, x times the constant of proportionality, 10.75, equals 100. And how do we get that? Well, we can divide by 10.75, and we can divide by 10.75, and that's going to give us 9.3. So 9.3 square meters of ceiling can be covered in 100 ceiling tiles. And then for our rule for A, that's going to be similar to Y equals K times X, which is 100, or excuse me, 10.75 times A. And that's going to figure out how we're going to figure out how many square meters of ceiling we can get for our rule. All right, number two. On a flight from New York to London, an airplane travels at a constant speed. An equation relating the distance traveled in miles d to the number of hours flying t is t equals 100, or excuse me, 1 500th times d. How long will it take the airplane to travel 800 miles? Well, since if we use the time, we're trying to find time, we set that equal to 1 over 500 times the distance, which is 800 miles. That's going to give us our answer. And that equals 800 over 500, because this is over 1, and then that's going to wind up equaling 1.6 hours. A reminder with this, we can take it and look over here and say that 800 over 500, remember the hundreds can cancel out, the zeros cancel out with mental math, so we're left with 8 over 5, so that's equal to each other, and that equals 1 and 3 fifths, or 1.6 hours. All right, number three says each table represents a proportional relationship. For each, find the constant of proportionality and write an equation that represents the relationship. All right, so the constant of proportionality is going to uh, equal, uh, if, we, if we think of this as x and this as y, then the constant of proportionality is over here, and that's going to be y divided by x. So here, if we look at it, we've got 8 divided by 2, which equals 4. It should be the same for all of these values as the table moves down. 12 divided by 3, 20 divided by 5, and 40 divided by 10. And we, those equal 4. So the constant of proportionality is going to equal 4 for, for, for this table. For D and C, also we can think about this as X and Y, and our constant of proportionality is Y divided by X. Okay, so this one's going to be 6.28 divided by 2, 9.42 divided by 3, 15.7 divided by 5, at y and x, y and x, 31.4 divided by 10. And all of these wind up, when we do those, either through um, our math or calculation, the constant of proportionality is going to equal 3.14. 3.14. And 3.14. So the constant of proportionality for this is going to be 3.14, and the constant of proportionality for this table was 4 from right here. Now the equation P is equal to 
the constant of proportionality 4 times this variable here, s. This fits our theme or our pattern of y equals k times x. And we look over here again, so we see y equals k times x. We know our rule has to follow that. And k is the constant of proportionality. So c right here is going to wind up equaling k, which is a constant of proportionality, so 3.14 from here, times d, which is the variable that's in the x column. Okay, so we've got those two done. Let's move on to number four. A map of Colorado says the scale is 1 inch to 20 miles, or 1 to 1,267,200. Are these two ways of reporting the scale the same? Explain your reasoning. Okay, so first we need to think about whether or not this makes sense. So 1 inch to 20 miles, or 1 to, to the, this large number, 1,267,200. Well, the, there aren't any units there in this second one, so we need to figure this out. Well, 20 miles, I know, so 20 miles, how many inches can we find in 20 miles? Well, I know that there are 5,280 feet per mile and 12 inches per foot. So if we multiply 20 miles times 5,280 miles, or excuse me, feet per mile times 12 inches per foot, that's going to wind up giving us 1,267,200. And that aligns with this number right here. So the answer is yes. The scales do match. If I wanted to be more specific, I could look at my second scale right up here and say this is one inch to 1,267,200 inches, which is equal to one inch to 20 miles. Okay, number five. Here's a polygon on a grid. A says draw a scaled copy of the polygon using a scale factor of 3 and label the copy A. B says draw a scaled copy of the polygon with scale factor 1 half and label it B. C says is polygon A a scaled copy of polygon B? If so, what is the scale factor that takes B to A? Okay, so first let's start with number with A. And we know that we're trying to use a scale factor of 3. So everything has to be increased by a size of 3. So this is 2. We have 2 here, 2 here. This goes down 1 and over 2 to get to this point. So I'm going to start with my side 2, and that's going to be multiplied by 3, so it's going to be 2, 4, 6 units. And then this side here is going to be um, 6 units, because we're multiplying by 3. 2, 4, 6 units. And then down here, 2, 4, 6 units. Now, if I go down 1 and over 2, that has to be multiplied by 3. So I go down 1, 2, 3, and over 2. Four, I lost count, one, two, three, four, five, six units. So right there. So then this is going to come to here. And then this one matches up right there. Okay, so this is A. I'm calling that A. Now this is draw a scaled copy of the polygon with a scale factor one half, label it B. Now everything here needs to be shrunk by one half because the scale factor is one half. And we know that when a scale factor is between 0, or let's call the scale factor, is between 0 and 1, it's going to be a reduction. So it's going to be smaller. So this 2 goes to 1, 1, and 1. Instead of 1, it goes down by 1 half and over 1. And then this is going to be B. We'll put the B over there. And C says, is polygon A a scale, uh, scale copy of polygon B? If so, what is the scale factor that takes B to A? All right, well, I need to think about this. So first, I know they're scaled copies because they're both scaled copies of the original. So yes, they are scaled copies. And then the scale factor here, if this side is 1 and this side is 6, then I have to multiply everything times 6 to go from B to A. So the scale factor... 
is 6 from B to A. Okay, and that's that. Um, again, this was Unit 2, Lesson 4, Proportional Relationships and Equations for Grade 7 Mathematics and Open Up Resources. Hope this was helpful. Keep learning. Keep making mistakes.